our corporate neighbors aren't necessarily investing in our communities effectively. And we are seeing some patterns in. If that can subsidize them continuing to provide precarious work, then why not? Because it can be part of the business model. So it needs to be part of the assessment. Ultimately, where I see the interest in this, first and foremost, people who are not earning any wage or minimum wage or on social assistance or on pensions are not bringing in enough money to cover their costs. And the experience many of them have, if not all of them, is that when you need help and you need to ask for help, there's a real sense of loss of dignity. Because you have to ask, but also often because of how the system works and how the process works and how the follow-up and all the checks and balances and the that fraud protection. So having systems that deliver that in ways that are more effective are really what I'm hearing from people in all the discussions we've been a part of. The biggest issue for this whole piece has to do with what Hugh Siegel has identified is the real schmozzle of interdepartment and intergovernment uh, uh, cooperation and information sharing. We have tons of administrative data that is available in all of our systems that can answer many of those questions related to the impact on individuals based on their income level. We know that. We shouldn't be asking the question. And my hunch is, it's been said here but not said loudly in the whole consultation, is a big part of the reason for doing this is to see if there's enough buy-in to be able to put this forward because of the moralistic tendency towards giving people money they haven't earned and the stigma that's attached to that. And getting past that, I think, is the biggest challenge and should be part of what you assess in the pilot, more so than whether somebody's health status is improved because it's already proven that that does happen. So that kind of challenge for the pilot to actually ask the right questions, deal in an ethical way, and looking at the larger context that includes the need for a progressive tax system that is the place where it gets paid for because ultimately people need to know that we can't afford it because we're on the cusp of a society that has a pattern of precarious work, unpredictable needs, aging population, so we need new models for how we're going to share wealth. And this is your opportunity to actually provide that leadership, which I think is tremendous, tremendous time and pivotal for this century. So on, on that note, I say go for it. Do go for it. But be careful about this pilot, because we don't want that to turn into yet again another half promise that doesn't deliver when people are really, and there's no exaggeration, when we say people are dying, people are desperate, people need help, and that doesn't make them bad people. And we as a community want to do better, and that's our, our combined challenge. So, uh, good luck to everyone.